Hi everyone, welcome to Primitech. In this video training, I'll show you the easiest ways you can use Google Drive Backup and AutoSync. Well, Google Drive is a cloud storage service from Google. Using Google Drive free service, you can use up to 15 GB of space on the cloud. It's very amazing and you can definitely rely on Google service. Okay, what you need to access Google Drive? You just need a Google account like Gmail account. If you have Gmail account, you just simply access your Gmail account like this. And when you access to Gmail account or sign into Gmail account, you will see this icon on the right side called Google Apps. Just click on it and you will see available apps of Google. And if you scroll down, here you will see Google Drive. If you click on it, it will open up on your browser. But you can access Google Drive on different devices like on your Android mobile phone, on your desktop computer, or on your iOS mobile phone. Okay? But how you can use Google Drive? You can use Google Drive in different ways. Just using a browser or you can install Google Drive backup and auto-sync software on your computer and that will automatically sync your file from your computer to Google Drive. You won't have to manually upload the file to this drive. Okay, but using the browser, what you can do, just you can upload the file to your computer. Let me show you. If I click on new, here you can see file upload. If I click on it, and here you can see my computer uh, interface. And from here on the download, I can easily upload this image. Okay, the file is uploaded. If I reload it, here in, you can see the image, but it's a manual process. You will have to upload it manually. But what I want, I want this drive to make sync automatically. I'll upload or create a file in this drive or in this folder, and it will be automatically sync to this drive okay so what I can do to make this job done I'll have to go to this gear icon and if I click on here here you can see get backup and sync for Windows as I am using Windows computer so it shows Windows if you are on Mac and it will show Mac in your scenario just click on here and it will send me to google.com slash drive slash download if i scroll down here here you can see download button just click on this download button and agree and download okay i'm going to click here and here you can see google drive installation file is downloaded okay show in folder here it is so just to install this software you will have to double click on it or right click on it and run as administrator okay the installation process is done now click on close Once you have successfully downloaded and installed Google Drive Backup and AutoSync software, you will see on your system icon a new icon that is Backup and Sync for Google. Just double click on it and you will see this interface. Okay, All of your files are at your fingerprints. Now just click here, get started. Okay, now you have three steps just firstly sign in then select the drive of your computer and start working with it okay firstly I'm going to enter the email address click next now enter the password click next okay now choose folders from your computer to continuously backup 
to Google Drive. Okay, I got it. And here you can see at second step, my computer automatically it selected the following folders desktop documents picture. But I don't want this folder to be synced. I'm going to choose a special folder to be synced. So I'm going to click on here, choose folder. And on the desktop, I want to select this folder, just ZT test, that means Google Drive test. And select folder. And now it is selected. Okay. And go next. Here you can see photo and video upload size. If you have just high quality images or photos, uh, videos, then select high quality or original quality. And Google Photos, if you would like to upload photos and videos to Google Photos, just select this. And here you can see network setting, but at this moment, I'm going to skip it. Just go to next. And got it. Okay. At this step here, you can see Google Drive and you can sync my drive to this computer and the file location is here you can change it just click on change and on the download you can just create a new folder and i'm going to name it folder and name it zd sync okay just select this folder select here and here you can see two options sync everything in my drive up to 8 GB and sync those folder to on the app. Okay, just keep it default and go to start. Okay, here you can see backup and sync is setting up. Okay, just click on it. Here you can see the backup and sync is running. On the system icon and if you click on it and here you will see options not now okay just click on here on three dots and you will see settings and you can you can see about help pause you can pause the sync you can just uh, see the preference okay I'm going to pause it okay and again go here and see preference Okay, here you can see my computer and Google Drive. It's going to be synced here and go to setting. Okay. That's all. Okay, if I go here and just go to downloads and here you can see only the, the files from my Google Drive is synced. Okay, from here. Now, if I would like to delete any file from Google Drive or my local storage, what it will happen? Okay, just go to the system icon again and click over here and resume. And if I come over here and delete this image, just remove it. Okay, it will be removed here. If you remove from the drive, then you can also get the backup from here on your computer. By now, I believe you know how to backup and auto sync with Google Drive. If this video helped you, don't forget to like it and share it and hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.